How to be a successful Muslim wife? To be a successful Muslim wife, show your husband love, respect, and affection, and ask that they treat you in the same way. Share responsibility for your daily life, and enjoy one another's company. Together you can strengthen each other's faith and live a pious and loving life. One, be open with your husband. Build trust by sharing your thoughts and feelings freely with him. Ask the same of him. Your relationship will grow in strength and health if you are honest with one another. 1. Communicate your expectations with your spouse. Tell him what you need from him, and ask him to tell you the same. Understand that men and women have been created to be different, physically and emotionally, and each has a distinct role within a Muslim marriage. Study the Quran and Sunnah to better understand your and your husband's rights and responsibilities to each other. 2. Share responsibilities around the house. You don't both have to do all the same work, but make sure that you both take on the responsibility of making your home a clean and pleasant. The Prophet used to help with chores. Some partners may need to be reminded to help around the house. If your husband does not notice when things are messy, consider asking him to be in charge of particular chores. 3. Have fun together. Get out and enjoy life. A good friendship makes for a happy partnership. Share what you like with your spouse, and explore what he enjoys as well. Find things you both like, and make regular dates to do those activities. Try new things together. You probably both have games, trips, sports or adventures you've wanted to do but haven't yet done. Take turns leading expeditions and organizing new activities. Have fun at home. If you have kids, play with them together. Think up new ways to entertain them with your husband. Encourage your kids to learn about Islam and teach them to pray. Four, argue gently. All couples have occasional arguments. Try not to let them escalate into yelling or name calling. Take deep breaths, stay calm, and use I statement when you are in an argument. For instance, if you're angry, say, I feel upset that, instead of saying, you're mean and you make me angry. The Prophet said to his wife Hazrat Aisha, show gentleness, for if gentleness is found in anything, it beautifies it and when it is taken out from anything it damages it. Break rising tension by reminding yourself, and your husband, to avoid the influence of the shaitan. Say something like, love, let's not give in to the shaitan. Can we discuss this when we are both calm? Pick your battles. Not everything that annoys you is worth a confrontation. 5. Discuss children. Develop a shared understanding with your partner about the desired size of your family. Procreation is encouraged in order to build the Muslim population, but if you do not want children, you are not required by Allah to have them. If you decide to have children, discuss with your spouse how best to raise your children in the love and service of Allah. Use birth control if you do not want to get pregnant. You may be interested in using an IUD, Dep Provera, an implant, or condom. 6. Show your affection. Everyone needs tenderness from others. Express your affection to your husband in the ways that come naturally to you. Find out what your loved one responds to, and show him love in this way. If your husband likes physical affection, kiss and hug him when you greet him. If he likes to be told that you love him, tell him freely. If your spouse responds to compliments, look for something to compliment him about every day. Some husbands love gifts. Arrange treats that are special to him. 
7. Communicate your appreciation. Show your gratitude for everything he does for you. Express your pleasure in his company. When he accomplishes something he is proud of, congratulate him and tell him that he made you proud too. Affirm his feelings. Leave him love notes and thank you notes, but remember that all blessings come from Allah, so say Alhamdulillah when you see something that makes you feel grateful. Consider other ways of showing appreciation, such as helping him out with a task he is stuck on. Eight, enjoy your physical intimacy. The Quran strictly forbids all sexual activity outside marriage but encourages lawful spouses to invest in a mutually satisfying physical relationship. Explore your desires with your spouse, and encourage them to be open with you about what they enjoy. Lovemaking should be undertaken with three intentions in mind, to avoid zina, adultery, to protect from the gaze of strangers and to procreate pious young Muslims to serve Allah. With these three intentions in mind, making love is not only an act of enjoyment but an act of worship that pleases Allah and brings reward. Flirt and enjoy foreplay, as Allah encourages you to do. Establish consent with your partner. You may speak while you share intimate moments, although excessive talk should be avoided. Ask for permission before initiating something new. Say what you enjoy, and ask your husband to stop if they are doing something you don't like. At the time of commencing intercourse, both husband and wife should recite Bismillah Allah Huma Janabnish Shaitana Wa Janabish Shaitana Ma Razaktana in the name of Allah, O oh Allah. Save us from the Shaitan and prevent Shaitan from that which you grant us, i.e. children. At the time of ejaculation, both husband and wife should say in their mind, but not out loud, Allahum Allah Taj, Al Lish Shaitani Fima Razaktani Nasiba, O oh Allah. Do not grant Shaitan any share of that which you have granted me. These duas are important as they will help protect any progeny from harm. Both husband and wife must perform gazel, major ritual bath, as soon as possible after intercourse. Nine. Be loving during breaks from sexual intimacy. While sexual intimacy is encouraged between spouses, there are some activities and times when it is forbidden by the Quran. During Ramadan, abstain from sexual intimacy except at night between iftar and so'ah. Make sure you are rested and well fed enough to enjoy the exertion. Islam prohibits intercourse during menstruation. However, cuddling, kissing, and playing are still allowed. There's no reason to avoid your husband during your time of the month. He will always appreciate your affection. If your husband is away for an extended period, for example on business or on an outreach program, then maintain your chastity by busying your mind and protecting yourself from shaitan by reciting the Quran, praying and remembering Allah. Otherwise, when in good health the wife is normally required to fulfill the husband's right to conjugal relations, and similarly for the husband towards the wife. 10. Finally please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel best regards.